my channel so excited that you're here thank you so much for clicking on this video i appreciate you it's jody dunn it's monday i'm coming at you with my monday cvs haul how am i was pretty excited to get into cvs today uh i've been getting some email threshold coupons which has never happened to me before so let me know if you have scored some of those as well not on every single one of my accounts but grateful for the ones that I did get. If you are new and you just found the channel, I am so very happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you're excited about CVS this week. Um, there's a link in the description box as always if you're newer to CVS I have a whole video series where I walk you through couponing from the very beginning up to more advanced that should be a ton of help if you have questions about CVS couponing it's most likely answered within that video series so check that out if you're having any issues with CVS all right that's all I got to say it's a rainy day here in Michigan it is 58 not like it was yesterday in the 70s but I take 58 over snow and what did they say the april showers bring may flowers so i'm i'm waiting on the may flowers to get here all right if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i appreciate you so much oh let's go grab some awesome deals all right i told you a couple weeks ago i never go to the coupon center anymore i always just send everything to my card and i wait until the end of the week to print um, or send a card, but make sure you send that text message or sign up for text messages. That number is right there. I got a text coupon this week that I forgot to send to my card. But I am here, I'm gonna print one time because CVS has been doing some weird things with the instant coupons where some of them are not extending out. They're actually expiring on Saturday, no matter when you print them. So I wanted to see if the 15 off 60 hair care it is extending out the seven days after you print or send a card. I'm not feeling it this week, so I'm going to save mine for next week. And in my store, CRTs will scan up to two days past expiration. So I just needed to know if I needed to print this coupon before Saturday or if it was extending out if I sent to card. So anyways, all right, we're going to start off with some deals. Let me know if your store carries these soft soap foaming tablet refills. My store is a small store that normally doesn't carry items like this, but the bigger stores around me do not have these, which I thought was so weird. So I'm definitely gonna grab these. These are $4.99 each. They are on the same promotion as the Soft Soap and the Irish Spring, which P.S., this one and this one right here are the only ones attaching to our digital coupons. None of the rest of the soft soap is attaching to our digital coupons, which I thought was really weird. But I'm going to grab one Irish Spring, one soft soap, and two of those soft soap refill tablets. They are buy two, earn back $4 an extra bucks with a limit of three. So I'm gonna do the deal twice and I've got $19.96 worth of products here. I went on Soft Soap's website and printed the 50 cent printable coupons for the tablets. And then for the Soft Soap body wash, I have a $1 digital coupon and the Irish Spring, I have a $1 digital coupon. And then I have this $3 off when I buy four that attaches to all of them. So that right there would drop me down to $13.96. I would earn back $8 in extra bucks because I did the deal twice. And there is a rebate on Ibotta for $1.50 back on each one of the foaming tablet refills. So it would make my cost 74 cents each, but I'm gonna think for a second and try to factor this into a threshold coupon that I got through email. So on this card that I'm shopping at, I got a threshold coupon through email, a five off 30. And then last week on my receipt, I got a 10 off 70. So I'm gonna use the 10 off 70 right now. I'm gonna grab the Schick refills are on promotion for buy two, earn back $10 in extra bucks. And my store has a ton of the $14.99 ones. 
and we hardly ever get refills. We get lots of razors. So I'm excited to go ahead and grab two of the refill packs at $14.99 each. So these will total me $29.98. I have two digital coupons for $4 off. And then I have two app only coupons. You can only access them on the app, one for $6 off and one for $5 off. That would drop me down to $10.98, earning back $10. But again, I'm gonna factor that into my 10 off 70. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the CoverGirl deal, buy two, earn back $6. I'm going for the trusty brow pencils. They're $6.49 in my store. And just like the Chic deal, this one's gonna be all digital for me. And I'm gonna grab a concealer for $7.99. So $14.48 for the two CoverGirl. I have a $3 digital coupon for the eye product. Then I have a $4 digital coupon for the face product. We also got printables available. And then everybody got a $4 instant coupon this week that I'll also use. That's gonna drop me down to $3.48, earning back a $6 extra buck just by themselves. They're a $2.52 money maker, but again, I'm factoring them into my big threshold coupon. The next deal I'm looking to do is on the All and Snuggle. It's on promotion for Spend 20, earn back a $5 extra buck. I was thinking of doing the Tide deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that over at Rite Aid this week because it's gonna be a better deal for me over there. But these are all on sale for $3.99 each, and my store is almost always sold out of the Snuggle dryer sheets. So I'm gonna grab two of the dryer sheets and three of the All detergents. So all five of these is gonna total me $19.95, which is close enough to the 98% rule for my extra buck to print. I'm gonna use two of the $1.50 coupons off the Snuggle. You can always search coupontom.com to find out what insert any coupon comes from. And then I'm gonna use three on the all. These did expire yesterday, I think, but my store does accept expired coupons. I also have a CRT for $1 off on all laundry. So that'll drop me down to $11.45. Earning back a $5 extra buck would make my cost $1.29 each. All right, the last deal I'm gonna grab to get me up to 70 is some Colgate. They are on sale for $3.99 each, buy two, earn back a $5 extra buck. There's actually three different Colgate promotions, so be careful. So $7.98 for these two. We have a $2 digital coupon on the app for one of them. And then I'm gonna use this $1 printable for the second one, which will drop me down to $4.98 for these two, earning back a $5 extra buck. All right, so this is what my 10 off 70 transaction looks like. I've got the all in Snuggle products, the CoverGirl, the Colgate, and the Chic refills. This all totals me $72.39. So I'll be able to use every coupon I already showed you in every CRT, along with my 10 off 70, your next purchase. That is gonna drop me down to $20.89, and I will earn back a total of $26, making all of these products free plus a $5.11 money maker. All right, I figured out what I'm gonna do with my soft soap and Irish spring deal. I'm gonna go ahead and add one of the baby lips for $4.39. Remember, I have to spend 30 in this transaction to use my five off 30. And I have the $4 instant coupon off of Revlon or Maybelline from last week. So if there is a promotion on Maybelline, I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna grab this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add two more of the Colgates because this deal is a limit of two. So I'll add two more at $3.99 each. And then for these two Colgate, I'm gonna use one more printable and then I have one insert coupon for a dollar off. Okay, so this is what this transaction looks like. I've got my four soft soap and Irish spring products, the Maybelline baby lips, and the two Colgate. This totals me $32.33. I'll be able to use all the coupons I already showed you and CRTs, and now I'll be able to use my $5 off 30 that got emailed to me. So that'll drop me down to $15.33 for all of these products. I'll earn back an $8 extra buck for doing the soft soap and Irish spring deal twice and $5 for the Colgate. Then I'll submit to Ibotta for $3 back on the soft soap refills, which is going to make everything free plus a 67 cent money maker. All right, this is everything I'm gonna do on this card. Now I'm gonna move on to the second card I'm shopping with today and do a few deals. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Chic deal again, $14.99 each doing the same thing. 
So same total again, $29.98 for these two. And I found another one with a Peely. So I crafted that one. I have the two $4 off digital coupons on this card. I also have the two app only coupons for $6 off and $5 off. But I also have a five off 20 any shave needs. So that'll drop me down to $5.98 for these two. And I'll earn back a $10 extra buck, making these free plus a 402 moneymaker. All right, I am going to do a little hair care deal, but I'm not going to use my spend 60 get 15 off this week i'm going to grab the l'oreal l vibe which is on promotion for spend 15 earn back a five dollar extra buck and they are on sale two for eight so i'm going to go ahead and grab four of these and the dream links are our favorite so four of these is going to total me 16 dollars and then i have a hair care crt i do want to use so I'm going to go ahead and mix that in with, you can do the whole blends or the fructis. I'm going to do the fructis. They are on sale two for seven, no extra bucks coming back. So I have a total of $23 in hair care and we are going to get some double dip action. I have this printable coupon for $5 off of three on the L'Oreal. I did a video about a year ago. You can search my channel, Jody Dunn, CVS double dip fully explained. This five off of three is only going to attach to two products. So that means our five off of three digital will also come off. Remember, this is a glitch and it's not supposed to happen, but it does happen in some CVS stores. Then I'm going to use the $3 off two printable on the Fructis, and I also have a $3 off two digital on the Fructis. Now, if your store does accept expired coupons and you want to use the $4 off two on the Fructis, it will not double dip with the digital, so just be aware of that. Then I have a four off of 18 hair care CRT that I can now use. That's gonna drop me down to $3 for all of these and I will earn back a $5 extra buck, making them free plus a $2 money maker. All right, this card also got an email coupon for a threshold off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the CoverGirl deal again. I'm gonna grab the same products and I'm gonna use the same coupons on this card that I already showed you in the first card. So I won't go over that again. And then what I'm going to add to get me, my threshold coupon is an eight off of 40. I'm gonna stock up on some Pampers diapers. We also have a deal on Huggies, but Grayson prefers Pampers. So I always try to get those whenever I can. They are on sale for $10.99 each and spend 30, earn back a $10 extra buck. I was trying to decide if I should start stocking up on size five. I have a couple, but I don't know if EJ is nearing yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another size four. And then for baby girl coming in September, I'm gonna grab a size one. So $32.97 for these three packs of diapers. And I do have a $3 off two digital coupon but I'm gonna mix in the CoverGirl. So now my total for the CoverGirl and the diapers is $47.45. So I'll be able to use this $8 off 40 email coupon I received. That's gonna drop me down to $25.45. I will earn back a $10 extra buck for the Pampers and the $6 extra buck for the CoverGirl would make my cost about $9.45 but I got a lot of money makers that will eat up that cost. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over my receipts and final cost. All right, here we are back at the kitchen table. And I feel like I got some different things. I was super happy to pick up the all in snuggle. And of course, I'm always happy to pick up the diapers. I grabbed $205.15 worth of product today. Of course, that is always the sale price. So just a little reminder, because every time I go over this, I have somebody comment and say, oh, I didn't know that. Uh, just wanted to show you this. This is an Activate Rewards Visa card that we got from doing a previous promotion. I've already used this whole card up. So if you try to use it, it will not work. I'm hoping. I haven't seen. Have you guys seen any Activate Rewards? We haven't had one this whole month. I can't remember the last time we haven't had a promotion. Anyways, I always do these. You can get these cards when we have the promotions physically or electronically. It does not work this way at most stores, but at CVS, if you had a dollar 20 left on this card, whether it was electronic or whether it was physical and your total was $2, it would still take the dollar 20 off and then you would just owe the 80 cents. So I always use these at CVS because 
I can use up the whole thing. I've tried to use them at Walmart, and if my total is $2 and I only have $1.20 off, the dang cart won't work. So just a little reminder on that. I still have, I don't know, maybe four more of these because I try to max the deal out every time we get them. So if you happen to hear of an Activate Rewards Visa promo that I'm not aware of, please share that with me. All right, let's go over my receipts. So I shopped on two different cards today. I did my first two over here. I was working with two threshold coupons, which was so awesome. The 10 off 70 that I got on my receipt last week. And then I got emailed the five off of 30. So on the first 10 off 70, I did the all and the snuggle, the two Colgate, the cover girl and the chic. So I used all of those paper coupons that I showed you in the store. Of course, I do everything at self-checkout. You guys already know that. Um, my $4 off the Chic came off, well, both of them did, and then my $2 off the Colgate, and then both of my CoverGirl coupons came off. There's my 10 off 70. Both of my app-only coupons on the Chic came off. My $4 instant on the CoverGirl and my $1 on the All. I used $20 in extra bucks to pay for this, had a subtotal of 89 cents, which I used that Activate Rewards Visa card to pay for. I earned back $5 for the Colgate, $5 for the All, $10 for the Chic, and then $6 for the CoverGirl. And then I did the Soft Soap, added the Baby Lips, and the second round of Colgate. So there are those, and my Soft Soap and Irish Spring. So weird that the digital coupon was only attaching to two cents of the Soft Soap. I actually tried the Irish Spring Bar Soap and our $1 digital coupon was not attaching to the original, but it was attaching to another scent they had on the bar soap. So anyways, this is why you always have to scan your products in the store to see what digital coupons and what CRTs are attaching to know if the deal is going to work. Um, so there's all four of those that I got and then the baby lips. So I used... My two Colgate coupons, the two Soft Soap printable coupons, then my Irish Spring came off and my Soft Soap came off. There's my email coupon of five off 30. My $4 off the Baby Lips, my three off four on the Soft Soap and Irish Spring. I used $15 in extra bucks to pay. Had a subtotal of 33 cents. I earned back the $8 extra buck because I did the Soft Soap and Irish Spring deal twice and the $5 for the Colgate. And then... I did submit my receipt to Ibotta. It didn't pick anything up. So I had to manually add the soft soap tablets and then scan the barcodes, which was totally fine for $3 back. Then I moved to my other card. I did the Pampers and the CoverGirl right here. And I had no paper coupons. This was all digital. So there's my three off Pampers, my four off CoverGirl, my three off CoverGirl. My eight off 40 email coupon, the $4 instant coupon off CoverGirl, and I used $25 in extra bucks to pay. Had a subtotal of 45 cents. I earned back the $6 extra buck for the CoverGirl and the $10 extra buck for the Pampers. And then I did my last deal, which was the hair care and the Chic. So there's my Garnier, there's my L'Oreal, and my two Chic razors. So I used my $3 coupon off of the Garnier and my five off three on the L'Oreal. My five off three on the L'Oreal did glitch and come off. There's my $4 off the Chic Razors. The $3 Garnier glitched and came off my other $4 off the Chic Razors. There's my $6 app only coupon and my $5 app only coupon. And then my five off 20 shave needs and my four off 18 hair care. So I used $8 in extra bucks to pay for this. Had a subtotal of 72 cents. Earned back the $10 for the Chic and the $5 for the L'Oreal. All right, so $205 and 15 cents in product here. I used a total of $68 in extra bucks to pay, plus had subtotals of 239. So that means I paid $70 and 39 cents. I just showed you $70 in extra bucks that I earned back, which is awesome. So I basically just had a freebie here. So excited about that with the three diapers, but then I also submitted to Ibotta for $3 back. 
So everything on this table ended up being free plus a two dollar and sixty one cent money maker. Super duper excited about that. Like I said, I was going to do the tie deal, but I think I'm going to be bringing you a Rite Aid haul this week because it was just going to be so much better of a deal for me at Rite Aid. And so I decided to do the diapers in this haul because I, I grabbed some already at Walgreens. But man, we just go through the diapers like crazy. And I don't ever want my daughter buying diapers. That is like when I found out I was going to be a grandma, that was one thing. Like I know how to get deals on diapers. I don't want her ever buying diapers. So that's always my goal is to stock up as much as I can because I swear the boy goes through them like crazy. I asked him the other day, EJ, when the heck are you going to get potty trained? <laughs> He's only one, so I'm sure that's going to be a little while off. All right, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.